Okay, I was planning on making a full review for Ghostbusters Afterlife, but I'll be honest, I've been thinking about this other video I want to make, and I kind of want to get more to work on that one now, because it's in preparation for a certain other upcoming movie this remainder of the year, and I want to make sure I can get it ready for before that movie comes out. So I figured in order to give myself some extra, extra time for that, I'd just give my quick thoughts on Ghostbusters here. So consider this a little bit of a quickie, if you will. To put it simply, I liked the movie. It was a fun, heartfelt, nostalgic throwback to the original films that most definitely gives itself a good reason to exist, as well as does a good job at further expanding the Ghostbusters mythos. It had great performances from the likes of McKenna Grace, Finn Wolford, Logan Kim, Carrie Coon, as well as Paul Rudd. Had some great special effects with the likes of both CGI and classic practical effects. The music by Rob Simonson is very good, especially because of how familiar it sounds and feels to the original score by Elmer Bernstein. It was especially refreshing that they thought to keep the horror factor from the original movies, which was severely lacking in the reboot. The moments whenever the original ghost-busting gadgets were used felt very nostalgic, as well as the scenes with the cast riding in the Ecto-1, like when they were chasing the ghost muncher around the town. Like, that whole scene was just so much fun. And of course, when the remaining original cast of Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, and Dan Aykroyd appear, that scene was so amazing. And also, yes, they do a fantastic job at having basically the whole story be a tribute to Harold Ramis. And it ended up being a lot more emotionally satisfying than I expected. And it's something that I'm sure is going to stick with a lot of fans for a really long time. It was really well done. The only things I didn't like were that it was very unclear to me if this was supposed to be like the setup for a new generation of Ghostbusters or if it was just a Stranger Things inspired Ghostbusters story with just new leading characters. I mean it seems like it was going for a passing of the torch story to a new generation but in the end the film didn't give me that impression at all. If anything it gave me more of the impression of just new members not really new symbols, but I don't know, that's just me. I also hope this film didn't make Ghostbusters 2 uncanon, because they never seemed to bring up those events for some reason. I know some people didn't really like Ghostbusters 2 as much as Ghostbusters 1, but I hope Jason Reitman didn't decide to have the film make it so that that movie never happened just because of that. Like, I do hope that Ghostbusters 2 is still canon in this timeline, because that way this film really is Ghostbusters 3, and that this is officially the Ghostbusters trilogy. I do hope that. And finally, not that this is really a story issue, but where was Slimer? Like, I was actually hoping he would show up for a quick cameo, yet he wasn't anywhere to be seen. I was honestly surprised that he didn't show up. Like, come on, if you can bring in a bunch of tiny little Stay Puff Marshmallow Men, then why couldn't you bring in Slimer? Was it just because you brought in a different type of hungry, hungry ghost? Okay, yeah, maybe that was the case, very likely, but still, I wish he showed up in some way. Certainly did not have to be a big role, just a cameo would have been fine. But I guess this means we're stuck with the reboot as his only modern appearance, so that's a shame. But look, aside from all that, I definitely really liked Ghostbusters Afterlife. It was just a nice return to the original universe with a good amount of heart and just pure nostalgia. And it does kind of make me interested in the idea of a follow-up series where these kids are older and they actually take up the mantles of the original Ghostbusters and continue their legacy of busting ghosts around New York, which I can imagine to be pretty fun, unlike the idea of a sequel to the reboot, which I think we're all better off without. Okay, okay, I'm sure it might be a little bit annoying to some people for me to keep on comparing this film to how the Paul Feig reboot failed, but come on, can you really blame me that movie was terrible? And retrospectively, I feel a little bit ashamed of myself because when I was younger and this film was just coming out, I kind of defended it. But I was stupid because I was younger than I am now. I mean, to be fair, there were a couple, few little things that I liked about it, but overall, it was just nothing to me. It's just certainly one of those fair cases of stick to the original. Or in this case, stick to either the original or this new one. You're better off either way. I'd give Ghostbusters Afterlife a 7 out of 10, and I'd definitely recommend it if you're a hardcore Ghostbusters fanboy. It definitely is worth seeing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.